We teach our sales professionals to sell as though our products are perfect. And we leave it to the buyer to go find out how you're not. That can't continue. When I think about the way that we train salespeople today, there's three big things that jump out that I think we're doing wrong. Number one is that we focus all of our attention on training sales reps how to sell as though our solution is a perfect 5-0 on a 5-0 scale. Start to figure out how to present as though you're a 4.2 to a 4.5 and stop presenting as though you're a perfect 5 because what you're doing is you're driving your buyer to figure out why you're not a 5. Instead of starting with something we're really good at, we start with something that we screwed up and the lesson that we learned from it. There's a real opportunity for you to start doing that and you'll find that the demeanor and the engagement that you get from your customers explodes. Number two is that we focus all of our attention on training sales reps how to sell based on logic. But as it turns out, we all make decisions based on feeling. We are taught as sales professionals to lead with logic, the stats, the case studies, the ROI, but the buyers are making decisions based on feeling. The fact that we make 90 plus percent of our decisions every day subconsciously, and we teach our reps how to focus on the five to 10 percent that's conscious. Um, but we're not thinking about some of the subconscious tech decisions that buyers make every day. Every time you interact with them, you're either building trust or eroding trust. Make them feel like this experience is gonna be really, really good. And that's something that you can provide as a part of this process. Salespeople never had a reason to be forthright and honest until the explosion of the internet. And it changed all that. It put salespeople that didn't adjust out of work and has caused the rest of the sales community to change and adjust. And I believe with transparency, that's going to change even more.